Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about this uh, induction heater I got off of Amazon. And uh, it comes in a box like this, and it claims it is a DEVMO two piece AU789 uh, voltage ZVS. And so we're going to do an unboxing and we'll test this guy out. And I have some interesting projects. I don't want to use it for induction heating, I want to use it for some other things like maybe building an isolation transformer. So let's uh, test this thing out, okay? Very cool. Okay, so here's a mini flyback uh, induction heater circuit. I had some idea for some projects. I guess they come two in a box. And uh, there we go. Just out of curiosity, let's see. Okay. I think it might be pretty close to being all set up too. Wow, well, look at this. Let's open this up. Okay, so let's see what we got in the bag here. That comes with some kind of coil. And what the heck that was my razor blade? And here's the circuit, a couple capacitors, a couple inductors, okay, in plus minus right there, and maybe I'll look at the picture and see how they have the coil set up. I assume it's on the out over here, but I'm not sure why there's three taps. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Okay, so the Amazon website that I ordered it from actually has no pictures of this thing assembled or working. Okay, very, very disturbing. Uh, it does say, okay, let's turn the light on here. This is in, and it's got a plus and a minus, so I'm going to guess that's the in. And it says 5 to 12 volts input. Okay. And uh, this does say out on the bottom, although there's three output ports. I'm going to guess that you only use the two end ones. I'll try to hook up this coil. To, oh, I can't even get it in there. So, I'm going to try to hook the positive of the battery here. See it says positive on the top, negative on the bottom. I'll try to I screwed those out already. Get those in there and I'll see if I can fit the coil in the front and uh, try this thing out and see if it works. Okay, so I hooked the positive of the battery up to the positive side here and the negative up to the negative and it looks like our coil does fit in there and so we'll try screwing that thing down, fit it in the front Okay, and I'll just test. I'm not sure if I strip back those wires enough on the battery thing. I want to make sure it's not clamped on the insulation. Hook this up and we'll, maybe we'll measure the frequency and see if we can transmit some power with this thing. Very cool. Okay, so here I have my uh, FN IRS1 handy dandy uh, battery powered scope. I really like this thing. And um, I just made a cable with some clip leads on it. it. Hooks through the BNC up there. Comes down and goes, makes a one turn around the transformer. And I have uh, two of these uh, what is 18650 batteries. These are great things too. There we go. And so they're almost four volts a piece, so that's almost eight. And this thing accepts five to 12 volts. All right. And so let's turn this thing on. Okay, look, the light comes on and it is oscillating. And let me measure the frequency of those oscillations. That's interesting. Okay, frequency 140. 
Oh, let's see, we're measuring the frequency down there. 140, 160. It's chirping up. 171 hertz. I don't know why it's chirping. Maybe something's heating up or something. That's interesting. The frequency keeps on chirping up. Very cool, huh? 200 hertz. Let me uh, turn this off and I'm going to see if anything's getting hot. Okay, there. These aren't hot. Oh, this this getting hot. Okay, very interesting. Okay, I want to see if I can transmit some power now. Okay, so here we go. I just wanted to see if I can make a transformer out of this, and so I'll plug that in and let me. Move these coils up and look at that. I have an incandescent light bulb with two turns, so it's stepping the voltage down. It's not glowing very brightly, but it is glowing. Probably if I put more turns around it, it would glow more. I'll look at that when I turn the coil so it's not in the plane of the other coils. The light goes out. Very cool. Okay, let me turn this off before I deplete my batteries. Okay, so I put four turns around there instead of two, so I double the number of turns. And look at that, the light bulb is a lot brighter now. It's almost yellow. Very cool, huh? Wow, isn't that cool? Okay, anyway, so it looks like our device is working. Excellent. Okay, so now I put a ferrite core here, so this should generate a magnetic field in this core. And that mag oscillating magnetic field should uh, generate current in these wires and light up the light bulb, if I'm correct. Of course, if it's too low of a frequency, it may not work too good, but we'll try it and see what happens. Oh, look at that. We can make an isolation transformer. Very cool, huh? That's pretty bright, huh? have eight turns around there. Excellent. Wow. Very cool. Okay, so we got our induction heater here, and I put a steel threaded rod through the center of it, and we'll try turning this thing on. Let's just watch this to see if it gets hot. Look at that. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, thirty-four. There we go. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Looks like it's heating up. Looks like the copper coils are getting hot, though. Oh. Huh. Let me uh, pull the battery out for a second. I'll pull this rod out a little bit and see if it got hot. Okay, it looks like the coils are super hot. And the rod is getting hot. But usually they put some kind of, if the coils are bigger, you can put um, some kind of cooling through them. So now it's too hot. Okay. 40. Okay, so we got the battery back in. unit. Oh, the wires coming from the battery are getting hot too. Wow. Okay, well, let me shut this thing down. Ouch. Yeah, they're getting warm. Let me pull this rod out a little bit more. Okay. 
So it looks like the rod heated up above room temperature because it's cooler down here. I, I don't know if you can do any uh, major heating with this thing, but it seems to be working. Very cool, huh? Anyway. Yeah, it's, it definitely gets hot. The coils, maybe they have a different emissivity because the coils don't feel too hot, but the steel is getting pretty hot. It's getting too hot to kind of touch <clears throat> for very long. Okay, so I guess this thing works. Very cool, huh? Okay, anyway, so this is the uh, mini induction heater, and I added some batteries to it. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. This is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.